good afternoon dear students in continuation with my lecture series on aktu engineering physics btech first year syllabus today i am going to brief you about unit 3 quantum mechanics okay now first let us have a look at the syllabus of this unit quantum mechanics unit the first line consists of the five laws related to energy that is black body radiation stephen's law wain's law rayleigh jeans law and planck's law you have to memorize the statement of these four laws and derive an expression for energy average energy of a planck's oscillator next wave particle duality you know light possesses dual character at times it behaves as a wave and at times it behaves as a particle matter waves which consist of both the wave component and the particle component the most important time dependent and independent schrodinger wave equation one year if the time independent part is asked the very next year you are asked about the time independent schrodinger wave equation you should be knowing their derivation and one study case in detail related to particle trapped in one dimensional box only one case and last compton effect the definition and the formula for variation of wavelength when a particle undergoes compton effect okay let us begin with the syllabus so the first part is black body radiation what is a black body a black body is one which absorbs all radiation and emits none a perfect black body is very hard to find but we can say carbon arc lamp black platinum black they can approximately be treated as black body if you want to make a black body in the lab then a very simple method is you take a metallic cavity in the form of a double wall here as you can see hollow copper sphere with lamp black coating inside and nickel outside when radiation falls in this cavity it will enter the enclosure and suffer multiple reflections inside at the interior surface at each reflection a part of radiation will be absorbed finally the incident beam will become weak and absorbed by the inner surface of the body this is an approximate example of black body not 100% black body now black body stephen's law gives you the law for energy distribution among different wavelengths according to stephen law the total radiant energy that is emitted by a black body energy emitted by a black body is proportional to the fourth power of absolute temperature when we remove this proportionality sign we introduce a constant here which is known as stephen's constant and the mathematical value of this stephen's constant is 5.67 into 10 to the power of minus 8 weber per meter square kelvin to the power of minus 4 stephen's law gave the total energy radiated by a black body one thing which is unique about this is that the spectral distribution curve plotted between the energy radiated by the black body and the wavelength shows one peculiar feature that is here you have a look at this graph on the y axis you are having the energy and on the x axis the wavelength at the peak value of energy wavelength is minimum 
and as the energy drops the wavelength increases this is one particular feature of the plot of energy versus wavelength given by wayne's law which states that the product of lambda m into t is a constant that means the wavelength corresponding to maximum energy represented by the peak of the curve shifts towards the shorter wavelength as the temperature increases this is known as wayne's displacement law that is lambda m into t is a constant and lambda m corresponds to the maximum wavelength and t corresponds to the temperature in kelvin so from wayne's law the maximum energy point shifts towards the shorter wavelength side when the temperature of body is raised by uh, or it is increased so the maximum energy emitted by a black body is proportional also to the fourth fifth power of absolute temperature rayleigh jeans law says that the energy distribution in the thermal spectrum is given by e lambda is equal to 8 pi kt divided by lambda to the power of 4 where lambda is wavelength k is boltzmann constant these are just the statements of these laws please remember in your syllabus not much detail is required for you to learn you just remember the laws and their statements and their mathematical expressions now this derivation is important it has been asked in your 2022 paper what is planck's theory of black body radiation obtain an expression for the average energy of the oscillator and derive the planck's radiation law see this was asked in aktu 2022 march paper and it was a 10 mark question from section c now we will derive this step by step please be ready with a print out of this page i will tell you the step by step derivation of this expression and along with me even you will be able to derive it see the frequency of radiation that is emitted by an oscillator is the same as the frequency of its vibration linear oscillator will have only discrete energy values e n discrete means n equal to 1 2 3 4 1 e n is n h mu where n is 1 2 3 4 also this is comes from the einstein equation now average energy of planck's oscillator let n be the total number of oscillations and e the total energy so how do you get the formula for average you take the total energy and divide it by the number of oscillations so let n not n1 n2 be number of oscillations having energies 0 h mu 2 h mu where has this come from this has come from the expression e n is equal to n h mu when i put n equal to 0 it becomes 0 when i put n equal to 1 it becomes h mu when i put n equal to 2 it becomes 2 h mu this way the series goes on and the relative probability that an oscillator has an energy h mu at a temperature t is given by boltzmann factor e to the power of minus h mu by kt number of oscillations having energy n h mu is given by n n equal to n not e to the power of minus n h mu divided by kt where once again n is the integer 0 1 2 3 etc and when we keep the different values of n 
we get the energy levels for those specific values of n. Okay, next step, total number of oscillations will be given by n equal to n0 plus n1 plus n2 plus n3. Now, in this expression, we will start putting the values of n0, n1 and n2. n0, n1 is n0 e to the power of minus h mu by kt. n2 is n0 e to the power of minus 2 h mu by kt. n0, n3 is n0 e to the power of minus 3 h mu by kt. Now we take n not common from this expression and inside we get 1 plus e to the power of minus h mu by kt plus e to the power of minus 2 h mu by kt plus e to the power of minus 3 h mu by kt and so on. If you remember from your mathematics, the sum of geometric progression is given by 1 plus x plus x square so on is equal to 1 upon 1 minus x. So in this case, x is equal to e to the power of minus h mu by kt. So the n expression becomes n equal to here, n equal to n naught into 1 upon 1 minus e minus h mu by kt. T, that is total number of oscillations will be equal to this value. Now, let us find the value of total energy. Why are we finding total N and total E? Because we need the average. So, we will divide E by H to get the average. So, according to the famous Einstein equation, E equal to N H mu where n is 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Uh, from the Einstein's expression, we will take E equal to n naught into 0 for 0 state, n equal to 1, n1 into h mu, n equal to 2, n2 into 2 h mu, n3 into 3 h mu and so on. Using the expression nn is equal to n naught e to the power of minus n h mu by kt. Putting these values, we get e is equal to h mu n naught e to the power of minus h mu by kt plus 2 h mu n naught e to the power of minus 2 h mu by kt plus and so on. There is one more mathematical formula of the series 1 plus x plus 2x square plus 3x cube etc equal to 1 upon 1 minus x whole square where x is e to the power of minus h mu by kt. So this series reduces to equal to h mu n naught e to the power of minus 2h mu by kt into 1 upon 1 minus e to the power of minus h mu by kt whole square. Where have we got this from? This is the formula for sum of series and x has been put as e to the power of minus h mu by kt. So the total energy comes out as E equal to N naught E to the power of minus H mu by KT into H mu upon 1 minus E to the power of minus H mu by KT whole square. Now we have an expression for E. We have an expression for N. What do we want? We want the average so we are going to divide E by N to get the average energy of the Planck's oscillator here. E bar is equal to E upon N. You put these values, N naught, N naught gets cancelled. Cross multiply this expression and you get E equal to H mu upon E to the power of H mu by KT minus 1. This is average energy of Planck's oscillator. It was a 10 mark question of section C. Okay, now 
Planck's radiation formula. What the, why are we always using the word Planck? Because it is related to your Planck scientist. So Planck's radiation formula, you just only need to remember the formula. There are no derivations, no details in your AKTU syllabus. The number of oscillations per unit volume lying in the frequency range mu and mu plus d mu from Rayleigh Jean's law is given by 8 pi mu square, square d mu divided by c cube, where c is the velocity of light and u mu d mu is number of oscillators per unit volume into average velocity. So the Planck's radiation formula is given by u mu d mu is equal to 8 pi h upon c cube into mu cube d mu upon e to the power of h mu by kt minus 1. This has been used in deriving Einstein's relationship in laser. Okay, so from Planck's radiation formula, we in terms of frequency, we get velocity is equal to frequency into wavelength. So C is equal to mu into lambda. You put this value in the above expression and you can also write this in terms of lambda. Jaldi se we have do one numerical on Bain's displacement law. Estimate the temperature of sun given lambda m is equal to 4900 angstrom and Bain's constant is 0.292 centimeter per Kelvin. What was Wayne's law? Lambda m into t is equal to a constant. Now, we cannot equate any equation as per unit and dimension unless and until the units or the dimensions on both sides of the equation are not same. Let us have a closer look at the values that have been given to us in the question. We note that wavelength has been given in terms of angstrom and Wayne's constant is in terms of centimeter. So our first target is to normalize these units. Either change angstrom to centimeter or change centimeter to angstrom. So for writing this formula in AKTU exam, I will get one mark if this is a five mark question. Now I am changing angstrom to centimeter. We know that one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meter and 100 centimeter is equal to one meter. So one angstrom is 10 to the power of minus eight centimeter. So given lambda m 4900 angstrom is equal to 4900 into 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeter b 0.292 centimeter per Kelvin. So your temperature of sun comes out as b by lambda m putting the value 0.292 divided by 4900 into 10 to the power of minus 8, we get 5.95 into 10 to the power of 3. So this was, this numerical is going to be of 5 marks. You will be getting marks as per step-by-step -step solution which you are going to show in your exam. Like you will get one mark if you write this formula lambda m equal to uh, lambda m into t is equal to b one mark if you convert angstrom to centimeter another one mark for normalizing the units one mark again if you keep the numerical values properly and last one mark for the correct answer this is how you have to approach the numericals in uh, quantum physics. Okay, let me quickly revise with you what did I teach you today? I told you about Stephen's law E equal to sigma t to the power of 4. I told you that uh, light has a dual character and I told you about Planck's radiation law and Wayne's law. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel.
for any suggestions of feedback please mail to me at divya hildial at the rate gmail dot com or my number nine eight one zero three two zero three zero three your suggestions are always welcome thank you.